Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today I have the O-Ray UHD-204VW video wall processor. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to create a gigantic video wall by grouping four smaller monitors together where you can easily share all of your HDMI media content. The product fully supports a 4K ultra high definition media stream and is both HDMI 2.0 and HDCP 2.2 compliant, so it adheres to the very latest standards. The product also provides dual HDMI inputs and makes it really easy for you to switch between devices, as well as providing local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here by simply plugging in a monitor while you're sharing it to that larger video wall. And finally, the product is software controllable, which means you can connect it up to a computer and make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Now, as part of this review, I'd like to start with an unboxing to show you everything that's included with the kit, because they pretty much give you everything you need to get this thing up and running in a few minutes. And then I'll take a closer look at the video wall processor itself and explain the connections you'll need to make and what indicators mean on the product. And then I'll come back and actually install it here and do a demonstration to show you just how simple it'll be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you tear open the box, you're going to find the UHD 204VW video wall processor. Nice metal cabinet, very, very durable unit. You'll also find a power supply. It's pretty standard. This end plugs into the wall. The other end of this cord plugs into the power brick. And on the other end of that cable, you'll find a barrel connection, which plugs into the back of the unit. And that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. Also included are a set of brackets you can attach to the unit to mount it up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find two connection blocks for both audio output and your control of the computer on the back. And they also include a collection of cables because the connection to your computer can happen through a LAN connection, so they include a standard LAN cable. They also include two RS-232 blocks, so if you've got a 9-pin connector on your computer, you can plug this into your computer, plug this into the back of the video wall processor and control it that way. If you don't, they also include a connection kit here that turns a 9-pin into a USB-A connection so you can use any available port on your computer, spin up the software, and have total control over how the video wall processor displays the information on the screen. And finally, there's an instruction card here or a warranty card that actually gives you all the information you'll need to get in touch with them if you have any questions about the unit and you'll also find a full instruction manual included in the kit. Now if you stay tuned next I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain all the connections you'll need to make to get it working with your own gear and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Inside the kit you'll find the UHD 204VW video wall processor, a power supply that consists of a 12 volt 3 amp DC power brick, with a connection on the end for using the included cable. On the other end is a barrel connection which plugs into the back of the unit. The cable is pretty straightforward. This end will plug into any standard wall outlet. The other end plugs into the power brick, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. You can also connect the unit to your computer through a couple of different choices. The easiest one is to use the LAN connection, and you'll find a full LAN cable included. You can also connect it up to an older computer by plugging this into the back, and if your computer has a 9-pin connector on it, you can plug this directly into your computer. If not, you can use this adapter cable, which converts the 9-pin to a standard USB-A port. You can plug that into any available port on your computer, and you can control it using the software. The video wall processor features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the front of the unit are a series of LEDs, and I'll start on the left-hand side with the power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test to check all the internal electronics to make sure they're working okay. And once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know the unit's ready to use. To the right of that are two input indicators, A and B. When you connect the media device up to the back of the unit, the product will check the resolution of the media stream, verify the connection, and light these LEDs letting you know you have a valid connection to your media devices. To the right of that are two loopout indicators, A and B. This product provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to connect the monitor up to the unit to view the content locally that you're sending to your large video wall. When you make a connection one or both of those monitors, the unit will check the resolution of those monitors, check the connection, verify that it's good, and also make any adjustments that are needed to give you the best possible picture locally, and light these LEDs letting you know it sees the monitor and everything's good to go. To the right of that are four output indicators, one, two, three, and four. And when you connect monitors up to the back of the unit to create your large video wall, it checks the resolution of each of those monitors individually. It makes whatever adjustments are needed to make sure you have the best possible picture. And it'll light these LEDs, letting you know the monitors are connected and ready to use. Now under normal conditions, the power indicator will be on. One or both of the input indicators will be on. Maybe one or both of the loop indicators will be on if you're using the loopback function. And all four of the output LEDs should be lit. 
On either side of the unit, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature, as well as mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this off the ground and keep it out of the way. On the bottom of the unit are four feet that'll keep it securely placed on any level surface. And on the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections. Starting in the upper left hand side, these are the connections to your computer to allow you to control it through software. You have a LAN connection and two choices for RS-232 direct connections. To the right of that is a service port. That's a micro USB port that's used for firmware updates. So if new firmware comes out for the unit later on to update features or improve bug fixes, you can connect this up to your computer with a micro USB connection here. The other end is a USB-A connection to your computer. Push the firmware to the unit to complete that update. To the right of that are audio output connections, and you have a choice here of either analog, left and right audio, or even an optical through a Toslink connection. And connectors are included with the kit to make these connections as needed. On the bottom, on the left-hand side, you'll find your two inputs, and these are connected to your media devices, A and B. These are your loop-out connections, A and B, that can be connected to local monitors to view the content that you're sending to your large video wall. And then finally, four more HDMI connections, which are outputs to the four monitors you'll use to create that large video wall. You'll also find a ground slug over here where you can actually ground the unit if needed. And finally, a power port that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply slide the barrel connection in, tighten the collar, and you're all set to go. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the video wall processor with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video, and that's the content that I'll send to the larger video wall through the video wall processor. Over here, I've set up four monitors in a two by two configuration to create my larger video wall. Now it's important to remember that the video wall processor needs to make the connection to the correct monitor because what it's gonna do in essence is break apart that media stream into four separate streams and it's important it sends the right stream to the right monitor. So in this case, that's output number one, output number two, output number three, and finally output number four. And I've connected HDMI cables up to the monitors and labeled those. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're selecting your monitors, try to find ones with a really thin bezel and that helps to make these lines between the monitors disappear and it makes the entire large display look much more unified. I've got the video wall processor in front of me and the first connection I'll make is the media player input. I've already connected an HDMI cable up to the media player and I'll connect that to input A. Now I'll connect up the monitors and as I mentioned I've got four HDMI cables and I'll start with HDMI output number one, number two, number three, and finally number four. Now that all the connections are made, all I need is power. I've already plugged the power supply into the floor. It's a standard barrel connection, goes right into the power port in the back. Now the minute I add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test to check the resolution of the media content being sent through the unit, the resolution and connections to the monitors. It's now taking a minute to make whatever adjustments are needed to send the best possible picture over to the larger wall display. Once it passes that test, it'll pass that video along. And there you go. Now I've currently got it set up where all four monitors are gathered together in a large display. Through the software, I could change that to have one display on the top and one input on the bottom. I could put one input over there and the other three inputs spread between the remaining monitors. You have a lot of control over exactly how it works and that's all done through the software with a simple connection back to your computer. I hope that closer look and demonstration was helpful in showing you how the UHD-204VW video wall processor makes it incredibly easy for you to create a gigantic video wall by grouping four smaller monitors together. Now, a few things to keep in mind when you're comparing this O-Ray product to other video wall processors on the market include things like the resolution the product can support. The O-Ray product can fully support a 4K ultra high definition media stream, which is the very latest in video standards. Other products may only support a 1080p stream, or if they support 4K, it may only be 30 frames a second. So knowing you've got a unit that can fully support the latest video standards means you're going to get a crystal clear image on that giant wall that you're creating. A few other key things include the full support for HDMI 2.0, which is the latest standard for that interface, ease of connection, all the features inside that interface will actually work on the unit. It's also fully HDCP 2.2 compliant, and that's really important because a lot of the modern media streams use copy protection, and if the video wall processor you're using isn't adherent to that latest standard, you can't actually pass that media content to your displays. A couple of other cool things that the product provides are the dual inputs, so you've got a choice between two different media devices that you can easily flip between to send the content to your video wall. I also like the fact that it does local loopback, which means I can actually enjoy the content here as I'm sending it to my video wall, so if 
that's far away from me, I can actually check the content here and make sure that it's exactly what I want to be displayed on the wall. I also love the fact that it's software controlled. I can connect the laptop up to it. I can make changes to the EDID settings, the resolution. I can change the way things are displayed on the actual larger wall. I can make a two by two or a complete four by four grid. So a lot of those controls are built into the unit. I also like the attention to detail that O-Ray built into the product. The fact that it's a middle enclosure means you're gonna have very little interference from outside signals. It's not gonna cause problems with the video resolution. They include a bracketing kit so you can mount it up off the ground if it needs to be mounted permanently. And I also love the fact that they include all of the connection possibilities you'll need to hook this up to your computer to control it digitally. So pretty much everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching, and stay nerdy. Thank you.